Hey everybody, welcome back to Captain of Industry. Today, I wanna to get started on the medical stuff that we need to do. I've been talking about it for a while and I just haven't gotten to it. And um, we're gonna take one step closer today to getting uh, the hospital and stuff going. So you can see that we're creating a pretty good amount of animal feed. It's kind of filled here, which means it's filled down the line here as well. And uh, I'd like to start putting this to a better use. Specifically, I'd like to start putting it to a use that's more appropriate for its name. Animal feed. You know, like feeding animals. What kind of animals? Uh, chickens, actually. So we've got a couple of chicken farms that are kind of templated out here. These two are, are scheduled to be built. So they'll be uh, working on that, I think. There's 50 red parts each. They're going to house chickens and um, we can enable this if we want to get the meat and the meat trimmings and stuff, which we're going to have a use for those. So we're going to turn that on, um, but these will generate eggs for us. And so people can eat eggs, you know, let them eat eggs. Yeah. Um, if you take a look at my mining tool, I've marked out the area where I cannot build. These are, this is the area. I'm going to go ahead and do this here too. At least here. This is the area where I cannot build anything. If I build anything there, I won't be able to put a building. I won't be able to attach anything to the settlement. And so in this case, the animal farms are gonna go here. Now I'm not entirely sure how many animal farms we can support. So we're gonna go slow with this. If we, if it's looking like we can support more than one farm, uh, we're gonna have two to, st to start out with because I'm pretty sure we can do two. Um, but if it's looking like we could do more than two, then we'll activate the third. And if we can, if it looks like we're more than capable of doing the third, then we'll activate the fourth. Once we enable slaughtering, we can have a red bar that will allow us to govern how many chickens can be in there. And so if we're looking like it's getting really hard to support that many chickens before they die out, we can start slaughtering chickens for meat and try to find that equilibrium of how many chickens can we really support. So for the starters, we're going to go for a thousand chickens. That is uh, a lot. <laughs> I don't know if we can do more than that. So for now, like I said, two of these are prompted to be built. I may be saying to yourself, Charlie, what does this have to do with the medical stuff? Well, <laughs> it doesn't, but it has to do with it because throughout the course of processing the corn and getting corn mash, we're going to be getting animal feed. I need a place for this to go. And currently, we're not using enough fertilizer to make this worth it. Although I have now rerouted the organic fertilizer so that it can uh, occupy more farms. So it's now providing it to this farm and this farm. Uh, and I think actually one more too. Uh, it's getting this one too. So this one's getting the organic fertilizer as well. This one's a little easier to provide for because it still has this uh, manure patch here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then we can get it going to other things instead. Okay. So the animal feed is going to redirect into this tank, which will then merge with a belt that is going to run from over here and go into this area. So let's redirect that. Our animal feed tank right here has a new balancer that is now going to be used as a priority to send it this direction. If we are not using all the feed that we're making, then we'll send it to compost. So I'm going to bring this up and get it to there. And then we're going to go across like this. It's going to pause there because, again, I don't know if I'm going to need those two farms yet. But we're going to take this off of this side and stick it in there. This off of this side and stick it in there. Okay. Then this tank is going to feed animal, uh, animal feed into here. And so that's going to be our setup for the animal feed. And honestly, I don't know if I needed a big tank here. But since I've already built it, I'm going to keep it. So this is animal feed there. Okay. The next step then is getting our mills set up and we're going to process all of these. And we're also going to process these. So I'm not entirely sure where I want to put these, but I've, I've set them over here. I know it seems kind of arbitrary, but the idea behind this is if I'm producing a lot more than I suspect I will be, then I want to be able to add more of these mills without having to really redesign the infrastructure all that much. So I'm kind of leaving myself open for the ability to double this and then even some more. And then same thing goes with these. I need room for these because at, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I double these, then I have to be able to double these as well. So I'm kind of leaving myself open for this. The other thing about this 
And this is, this is the hard part about this whole process of making ethanol. The fermentation tanks, that's what these are. They're going to take the corn mash, oxygen, and create ethanol. Okay, well, here's the problem. I don't have any oxygen routed this way. Now, I've got oxygen way over there, and I've got oxygen way over there. I've even got oxygen way over here, but I don't have it right here. <laughs> See what I was going to do with this pipe now? Yeah, I was going to bring it and make it an oxygen pipe. But the more I think about it, the more I think that's a potential waste using this for oxygen. It's a very niche purpose, and really, it's 72 oxygen. It's not even going to fully saturate this belt, th this pipe even. If I have to make this longer, then maybe that has a worth to it. Maybe that has something to it. But for the time being, um, I think what we're going to do is the lazy way out, and we're just going to create an air separator right behind this, and that's going to be where my oxygen comes from. And I actually don't want to obstruct the driving. So what I'll do instead is I'll put the oxygen thing right here. Ah, uh, I don't like it there either, do I? Hmm. Well, I uh, could maybe slip it in right here. There is not enough room for that. Barely. Uh, this is all going to be mined out, so I don't want to get in the way of that. So, yeah, maybe we'll just stick it off the edge of this. That doesn't disrupt driving. Yeah, not at all. Um, we'll do oxygen like this, and I'll open myself up for at least the ability to have two of these. But um, we're only going to build one for now. Okay. So, again, I don't want to disrupt the trucks. All right. So, let's go ahead and build this and this and this and this and this and this. Okay? Get all these things built, and then we can probably pause that. This can be paused. Okay. With that being done, the animal feed can now be fed this direction as a priority. So animal feed will go to uh, the animals. Of course, that means less animal feed is going to be provided for fertilizer. So I will probably readjust this so that we have more fertilizer being submitted from this side than that side. Because when this gets full, it can potentially shut down all of this, which then can potentially back up the sulfur, which can then potentially ruin everything, right? So there's a balance here that I have to observe as I do it so that I don't go too fast, um, which is why we're going to start with two farms. And those of you who have played this game before, you might be thinking, well, actually, Charlie, uh, two farms is also too fast. But we'll see, okay? We'll see. Animal feed is in, and so is the water. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to a town. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I guess it's going to be the last one I click. And we're going to trade some construction parts for some chickens. Okay. Now, our reputation to do that needs to be at least two. So before we do that, we're going to take gold parts and deliver them to this settlement. So we're going to prompt that to be delivered to the shipyard here. And we're going to start loading that up. So once we get the chickens from the t from the f uh, from the town, that's what it is. I was going to say from the farm, but that doesn't make any sense. Once we get the chickens from the farm, from the settlements, wherever it is, there's a word. There's a word in English. Um, I can go ahead and uh, start getting them into here. I'll let them build up. We'll start providing eggs first. And again, if it looks like we can handle more chickens, we can enable um, we can enable the slaughtering. Um, we can also enable some expansion and get these done too. Um, at that point, we will then also be getting uh, attached to the here the food market. We'll then also be getting some food markets right here, and the chickens can be delivered directly to the food markets, and the eggs or whatever can be delivered directly to the food markets. Now we might want a buffer tank on this. That's true. So to counter that, what I'll probably have it do is the belts will probably go this direction first to buffer tanks for those items here. And then those belts will feed these. There are, there's two spaces. There's, these there should be. Yeah. There's enough room here for two. So I can have one belt go up and be level one, take it over to a tank. And then the other one can be level zero running alongside this with plenty of room to go into these uh, food markets. We can start providing eggs and chickens and all that kinds of stuff, um, which is gonna be great because that's gonna help for our health rating. That'll help um, by providing protein, okay? Eggs count as protein, so does meat, so does tofu, and so does sausages, which we can't, we can't do yet. 
So we want to have, we want to tick a box in each one of these categories. It helps us with our health, which is great. Um, it means that we can counteract a lot of other bad things. Speaking of bad things, household goods. Hello. What's going on? How did that happen? 61.6. Oh. Our needs have gone up. We have more people. Hmm. Well, it can't be a steel problem, at least. No, definitely not that. It's probably glass. It's almost always glass. Yeah, it's definitely glass. So, obviously, we want to get to glass, too, as well. Um, for research, we just finished the heavy oil cracking. Where the heck is it? Yeah. Right here. We just finished heavy oil, heavy oil cracking. Fantastic. We can then go to glass making. Um, I was going to get my vehicles management up, but I'm going to skip that so that I can glass making. It's definitely something I want to have number one on my priority list right now. Um, then we'll go for the vehicles. Then we'll go for this. And then we're going to go for ship weapons. Because I got to get deeper into the game. And I need the weapons and armor in order to do that. All right. So we need to upgrade glass making so that we can upgrade everything else. Um, research is super slow because glass is very slow. I could, if I had the unity to do so, which I don't because I'm not actually selling... Okay, so here's the thing. I have 187 unity. If I boost all of these, well, it won't matter. We're out of glass mix. Hang on. What? What? What is going on here? Gotta really pronounce the what. Hmm. Sand. Really? Sand. How? Guys. Guys. Your job, should you choose to accept it, and you don't have a choice, so you choose to accept it, is to dump sand in here and uh, dump sand in there, okay? But you know what? Uh, if you can reach, and I'm not sure you can, but if you can, please dump it in there too. Uh, you can't reach that. You can reach this one though. Yeah, you can reach this one, so dump it in there. Just dump the sand in. What are you doing? Oh, this is a slag. Wait a minute. Huh? Oh, this is the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. So you're just getting the access. Maybe there hasn't been any access sand from processing. Maybe there hasn't been a whole... Oh, you're the tank. There it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm wrong, okay? <laughs> it happens. Uh, Get rid of this. You are going... Uh, not this tank. You're going to that tank. Okay. So just deliver sand. I don't know what the, what the heck is going on here? How much sand do we, like, how, how can you not have enough? All right. Let's get a more trucks on this too. Like we need more sand guys. Let's go. Uh, okay. The mills need recipes. They're going to take, it's this one here. It's corn. So we're just going to do that. Uh, and then you only have one recipe and you're all built. Oh, good. So let's go ahead and pause you for now. I wasn't ready for you to be built that quickly. So there you go. Pause you and pause you. So you two, right? Corn and water. So running through here underneath this bridge is our water tank or is our water pipe. We're also going to have the water go this direction. You only need three. So we can do a nice small pipe through here. We're just going to hook you up. Well, hang on. I need to have enough room for the other stuff as well. So let's uh, let's put a pin in this. Hang on. Let's do the uh, do the corn first. Yeah, yeah. Corn first. So what we'll do here is we'll redesign this just a little bit. Pull this away and pull this away. Might as well pull this away too just to make it look better later. All right. Just take out all of these. Okay. And what we're going to do, yep, go ahead and do this. What we're going to do is we're going to get you a U-shaped uh, balancer. Uh, ooh, right, two different resources, of course. Well, I don't think I'm going to need a wheat one here anymore. Because we, we should be producing enough bread. Um, but I guess there's a chance we're not. So why don't we try this? We'll have you go here. 
like this. This U-shaped balancer will simply go uh, yeah, this way and this way. Yep. And then this part will go off and click connect there. So this will send the corn this way. Okay, now the corn is gonna instead go into the balancer. I wonder if it looks better if we go in from this side. Yeah, it looks okay. So you'll go to the balancer this side. Let's go ahead and build all of this. I can't believe we don't have sand. <laughs> That's nuts. That's just crazy. Crazy talk, I say. You gotta have sand for glass, okay? What are you guys doing? Where are you delivering it? You have multiple places you're delivering sand? Uh, okay. You no longer have multiple places in which you are delivering sand. You have one single job in the whole wide world, okay? And that is to deliver sand there. That's it. That's the only place you deliver it. Right there. Please do that. Um, I actually want to make sure I'm not at my vehicle limit. I am. Okay. So I want to go ahead and start scrapping more trucks too. Uh, da, da, da. And let's pick the one with waste. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Scrap you too. Okay. My God. <laughs> Workers is a hard thing to keep up on. All right. We have all the parts. So now I just need to pause it really quick. Load crew. It makes us even more devastated. Uh, and I believe it's the other one. Yep, right here. So we're gonna adopt six people with Unity. Then we're gonna deliver the cargo. Go. We're down 64 workers. So let's play it cool. I think it's gonna be okay. Just need to let it let it deliver and then we'll bring you back and you can get back to work, okay? Yeah. We have homeless people as well. I don't know how that's happening. Well, it's glass. Let's have a priority for glass there. It's all glass. Um, let me get, uh, I mean, is household goods the more important thing or we, we pause this, right? That's how we do it. Pretty sure we pause this. Yeah. Let's pause this so the trucks can grab it. That's household goods. Okay. Can you grab glass? Somebody, somebody come and grab glass. Is that you? It is you. 16 taking it to town, right? How much do you need? You need a bit more than 16. Well, I'm sure one of your friends will grab it. There it is. Another seven. Perfect. Okay. Let's turn this back on. Make them more household goods. Go, go, go. Make them more. Make them more. That's what I said. Make them more household goods. Um, I'm also going to upgrade this because it needs to be. And this one too. Once we start making more glass, this will have to be upgraded. Uh, okay. Let me take a look at town, make sure it's going good. U26, can't quite Unity deliver this. But I need to get rid of the homeless problem too. You there. All right. We want to bring people in. And then we want to... Uh, I want to get chickens. So we don't have enough products to trade. We just sent them all to you. That's why. Oh, that's how they get you, you know? They're like, give us all your gold parts. We do that. And then they're like, okay, well, if you want this, it's going to cost you gold parts. Like, man, I just gave those to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right. So, again, I want to get the chickens. We don't have enough workers anyway for these. How many workers does it take? 12. The thing I don't like about the chicken farms is that it doesn't really tell you much about it. Like, how much feed chickens, like, use. It doesn't tell you anything about it until after you buy it. So you don't get to know any information. Uh, if you take a look at this, you have farms and it's like, okay, cool. 14 workers, two maintenance. Okay, cool. I guess none of these really tell you, but I, it's not like recipes, right? I guess that's probably why, because there's no recipes for this building, but it does tell you it takes workers, 12 workers. No maintenance though. No maintenance. Hmm. Okay, cool. When the ship gets back. Hi. Can I have my workers back, please? Pretty, pretty, please. Unload crew. Okay. So everything's working now. We probably want to... Let's... Uh, 
we still have fuel saver one and two on right now and you can see that we're starting to catch up but like it's a long it's really difficult without enough oil it's really difficult so i think the next priority needs to be delivering all these red parts that we're making and you know of course making more red parts um but the next priority i think needs to be upgrading one of the oil rigs so that we can accommodate it the demand is too high okay so we want the animal feed to go in here and the corn mash to go that way so corn mash is going over here i think we also need corn this way right so now that we have this belt made we'll send the corn under here and we're just gonna go like that and then we have to actually go around because we, we need water to be delivered too so i can't be super tight like that um so we need to go out one extra and it'll be basically like this nope what am i doing there okay and now with the water should be able to pull this off uh lift it up from here i guess and then it's gonna go over the top of this but it needs to drop it needs to be able to drop in straight is it like that yep so we're gonna have to curve it a little bit to drop this in just because the angle is a bit weird it won't go in directly like that so we have to kind of go over top of things to do it it won't let me do this and i can't make it right next to this either Ooh, this part's a little tough isn't it this part's gonna be a challenge for me here um can you snap in there no darn it this it should have been built like this with it always on the right side and it's i switched it over here don't ask me why i don't know but i did i switched it and now it's gonna cost me that goes in easy uh, and this one goes in easy this one's gonna be a challenge um okay let's let me try this i don't know if this will work but stay height one here and then go down um can i yeah it's, it's gonna be right off yeah it's gonna create an extra an extra connector how about like this can i go height one here and then down in i need to flip this it's, it's the wrong orientation both of these need to be with the with the water on this side i'm gonna tear them down and rebuild them they need to be exactly the same otherwise i can't get the water in there the way i want it's okay i only lose 20 percent of the resources used to build it no big deal <laughs> there uh and now i should be able to do this easily so we'll bring this like that and in and then you in and then the water pipe comes over like that and again i'm setting this up so that i can expand it later and because of that i, I want to make sure it's exactly the same every time so you can go in there you can go in there you can go in there and then you can go in there and then you should be able to go that way yep okay so all good things all good things make them again and then we can get all of these set up and running let's build these two okay so with all this stuff built actually really don't need to build this do i let's pause it right now we don't have the resources for it anyway so corn goes this way and we're running out of power now Ooh, power is another thing they still haven't delivered the glass here Are you really not making enough this is, this is nuts i say nuts completely nuts come on you must have some i will pause the spell and then you will have some <laughs> seriously just deliver it. i need people now uh Oh, I think, did you do it? That's household, that's household goods, which I need to take that away. This, this needs to go. That extra, that extra, um, bonus needs to go. They're consuming too many. I can't keep up. Do we have gold parts yet? Can I have chickens? I really should make sure everything is stable before I buy the chickens, right? Like I should make sure everything else is going good before I do that. Um, so anyway. The process, right? 
corn mash will be made. And the corn mash needs to go into here, and so and as well as the oxygen. So we have one of these up. Everything's fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take and use this stack and slap it right there. And we'll just get rid of the nitrogen right away. Okay? No big deal. So the oxygen is going to then go up one over here and it will then travel at height one down this away eh, it's still disrupting that that drive aren't, aren't i i don't want to do that because of the you know bridges and stuff maybe i put another bridge in here no because I, I don't have the room for it I really just think the fuel station is just always in a terrible spot. I don't like where it is. <laughs> I should put it right in here or something. Yeah, that'll be productive right here. Because like, what else do they have to do going this direction? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't like, I don't like that anymore. Maybe if I can go this way though, this is like a little hallway, but I could, I could make that happen. Let's have you go up one. Go height one and over this way and then over that way. Can you connect? Good enough. Okay, so we'll have this pipe. Probably should be height two, to be honest, just so they can, you know, drive through there. Yeah, but I'm still disrupting that drive. I, I don't want to do that. I want to leave this nice and open for excavators and stuff too. They do have this path for now, but they won't have it later. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do about this, right? I have to at some point cross here. So the only way to prevent this is with a bridge. It's the only way to do it. I need a bridge here. And it needs to be to where it doesn't disrupt this and it doesn't disrupt that. So it's going to have to be like here. Yeah, right alongside there. So we're going to put a bridge like here. And that's the only thing I can do to, to not have this to be disruptive. So that's what I'll do. Otherwise, I just I was I was going to use a pipe through here anyway, and then I probably would have had the same problem. So, yeah. All right. With that done, then oxygen, you're going. I'm just curious. Can I just uh, can I just go on the ground? Do I have to lift it up? I don't think I have to lift this. Should be able to just go like that. Yeah. And then uh, I need to be lower so we can connect, but then rise up and then this way. Right. And then can you connect? Good enough. Okay. Figured it out. Goes this way and then we'll have it go. Uh, let's say under from this side. And there we go. And it pops this direction. And then we go all the way around like this. Again, trying not to disrupt any trucks. So you will go into there. You will go into there. And this is only one, it's two resources. This is oxygen. So the corn mash will go into there and the oxygen always goes on this side. There we go. Okay, good. Corn mash being made over here now needs to be redirected. Corn mash is also something that is with a pipe. And um shit, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to disrupt this anyway. I don't think I have a choice. Like there's I guess I could bring it this direction, but it's still gross. I can though. It can I can bring it over top of this and around why why do that? I can just bring it alongside this and then over. That's better, right? Just bring it alongside here. Yeah, whatever. Let's just let's just do it. So up to height two. And then we'll just have it go like that and then over like this. And uh and then we'll come down from there. No, we don't even need to. We'll just come down to one. There. And then across like this. With room for expansion. Okay. So you're in there, you're in there, 
you're in there and you are in there okay corn mash and oxygen delivered ethanol can now be produced Whew. okay so there's two things i'm gonna have to do here i have to route the ethanol to where it's needed which is going to be over here now i have to ask myself whether or not it's better to have the hospitals and all the disinfectant stuff be built here because the ethanol is here is it too inconvenient to bring the steel there yeah yeah it kind of is um the belts just don't do that and the belts are more expensive than pipes we've discussed this um the brine pipes and the naphtha pipes are already routed to come over in this direction um like they're already like almost fully routed this naphtha pipe is now sticking here awaiting further instructions um and this is the brine pipe which is already routed to be here where it needs to be above this to take it all the way over where it needs to be produced so if if i was going to do it over here the brine can easily be routed that way the naphtha is going to have to it can continue this path and go underneath here but then we block trucks from being able to deliver anything into this belt that's usually a no-no we don't want to block trucks from delivering to this uh to this tank and i will do that if i put anything ground level um i could alternatively have you go at level two so rise up <clears throat> from here go level two across and then down that would route both the naphtha and the brine okay not too bad of a deal um assuming that's assuming that's what we're gonna do with the ethanol being produced over there the plastic would then get produced with the naphtha we make the chlorine we make the plastic naphtha routes that way brine routes that way we make the chlorine on site we get plastic there exhaust gets routed away from the ex with, with the exhaust pipes okay fair um steel is the only thing then we wouldn't be able to route there effectively uh and steel is pretty important to route uh it's probably better because again the belts are more expensive it's probably better to build everything where the steel is i don't think i can avoid that truth building everything where the steel is in this process is probably going to be better only because again the rest of the supplies can all be pipe uh piped over to it and pipes are just cheap so uh yeah i think that's how we'll do it but now that the ethanol is being made over here i don't need it to route this way so because i don't need it to route that way anymore i can take this uh this naphtha pipe away and still route it alongside the brine i don't need to route it around here anymore because the i was going to have the brine go under with it or sorry the ethanol was going to go with it but now i can do the naphtha that way which is going to be more fitting so we can connect this um it's gonna get deleted but it's fine like this section is getting deleted already i'm not sure why i deleted all the way up to here it doesn't actually make any sense does it not what i don't know why i did that <laughs> whoop to do uh let's bring it back up top we have to bring this up it has to be level two when it hits this part otherwise the trucks won't deliver and quite honestly this is going to be tough even still i need that post to get out of the way i'm wondering if i mean would you guys notice this little squiggle <laughs> yeah you would notice you would notice wouldn't you if i did this it would work it does work come on guys let me do it don't make fun of me oh no you you did you switched don't switch i don't know don't don't switch stay where you are Yeah, just do that right you stay right there with that and then come down oh it's ugly it's ugly hmm i don't like this slag belt anymore it's always in the way let me delete this i'm gonna route this a little differently let's have you be height two here 
Yeah, and then down. See, that looks a little bit better. I didn't say great. I said better. See, that's how I get away with it. Uh, and then we'll raise you up to three. Yeah, that's that's good. Well, I don't like it. I want you to be... Can you go higher faster? You're a pipe. You're supposed to be flexible. It's fine. It'll just be here. Oh, it can be level two. Oh, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go like that. Okay. Now that I've made that part, hopefully the trucks don't complain. Can we can we try it? Oh, I blocked it anyway. I hate this thing. Ugh. Gross. See that little bit there? You can't block that. They'll get upset, right? They'll call their mommies. Say, Mom. They messed it up. Not going to let me in now. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I want this to be the naphtha pipe, but I also need this naphtha to be somewhere else. Do I go height three above this? That could be a solution, but I still have to deal with this stupid slag. All right, let's just bypass that slag once and for all. I'm, I'm not going to mess with this. It seems silly to wrestle with this when there is an obvious solution I just didn't want to do. But I will do it because it is required of me. Okay. We will now proceed. Hi, can I, can you, yeah, can you, right there. Mm -hmm. Go height three instead. Huh? Height three. And we go above it. Okay. We just go over the stupid thing. Okay. That's the solution. Why? Why for you not there like that? We just go over the stupid thing. It looks terrible. I don't like it. I wish I could. Wait a minute. Why can't I do this? I could do this the whole time. You son of a. It still won't work though. It's still gonna block. The blocking is the problem. It blocks that walkway and they just refuse. They just, uh, they just refuse. Can't go over this, right? I gotta know. No, because it's, it's still, it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna help the excavators. Curious. Doesn't work because I connected to that pipe and I don't want to, but. Okay. Does it block? Does it block? It doesn't seem to block. I think we're good. I I hate it, but I think we're good. <laughs> I just needed to avoid blocking that, and it looks like I did. One more check. Yep. <clears throat> they can still do their jobs. All right, NAFTA routed successfully under the under this bridge. It's just NAFTA under the bridge now. Yeah, okay, I tried it. it. It didn't work. I mean, it was like a it's a dad joke attempt, you know. It's it really really was a complete and total dad joke, which is uh <clears throat> you know it's my specialty, but also I'm not very good at it. So you can see how my specialties work. All right, here we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. You know what, I'll route the pipe. See what I'm saying? Like routing pipes takes a huge portion of the video to do. And it's just not worth showing you. Like I can do it and that's fine, but like you guys don't need to see how I route little pipes. If that's what you're into, cool. Let me know in the comments. If you want me to show you every pipe I route, you let me know in the comments. But like, I, I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, but I have this feeling, you know, just like gut feeling that uh, the pipe routing is one of the most boring parts of this game <laughs> for you as a viewer, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're somebody who is, you know, you're playing it yourself and you want to see the ideas and how I solve little problems and whatever. And maybe you're somebody that's not one of those uh, straight pipe maxis, in which case, you know, 
maybe that's this is your kind of content, you know? I, I'm I'm in. Let me uh, you know, uh, grab a beer. Let's sit down and we'll 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 party. Uh, party at the pipes, you know. Uh, but I don't think so. Uh, it's, I suspect it isn't. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, okay, so all of this should be now routing the corn mash out through this pipe, and it will then end up in here, okay? And then it can be processed into ethanol by these fermentation tanks, okay? That process is now done. We are now going to have ethanol, which is the best thing we needed for getting everything else we needed to have done as far as medical goes we need more power though and for that i need more naphtha and for that i need fuel to be not I, I need oil to be solved yeah oil is the big thing right now so how about we try to figure out how to get oil to be upgraded this is level four i need it to be level six we're getting close 329 red parts let's go ahead and prompt that to be delivered if we can get that under control then you know, cargo rigs can come in. We can bring more stuff in, you know? There's just not enough product stored. And they, they need more. They need to have more constantly stored in here. And uh, I would also probably be a good idea, once we get that upgraded to level six, I think at that point, it's probably a good idea to... Oh! Wait a minute, did I just find... I think I had a light bulb moment. Is this the connection? Okay, wait. So you remember how when we first discovered the oil rig, it said it was level two and we upgraded it, not to level three, but to level four. And then when we upgraded again, it then becomes level six. And we're trying to figure out like, why is it going up by two levels every time? Why does that, that doesn't make any sense. I think what this is, is that it can handle at this pace, maxed out, it can handle six of the cargo bays. So level six would be six of these fluid modules. Maybe that's not the case, but I, I'm finding a connection in this that we currently have eight fluid modules to fill, right? So we have these four. Um, well, that can't be it though. Well, no, it can't be it. Now, I'm, I'm totally wrong on this, right? Because we have eight to fill, and and there's ten, level t uh, ten total levels. That can't be it either. You know? Yeah, I'm probably wrong. That would have been a cool correlation. I'm still trying to figure out, though, if, if you know what this is, if you know why, let me know in the comments. Why do we upgrade it from four to six, and then from six to eight? Why is it not, you know... Like one, two, three, four. What, what's what's going on there? What, why did they choose to do even numbers? I've been trying to figure that out, and I thought I just had a light bulb moment, and I I, I didn't. I once you walk through the idea, it doesn't work. So yeah, I got to figure that out. But look, we have more places for corn to go now. Well, kind of. We still have this little system here, but it needs to get the wheat out of the way. There it goes. I think this is working out pretty well, you know? We got more, uh, we just need, we just need power now, right? And power needs oil and that's it. So once we fix the oil issue, we'll have power again because I'll have more naphtha, I'll have more steam, etc., etc. So it just comes down to getting the oil rig done. So I'll let it run and we'll get that done. But you can see how we're starting to get, uh, you know, the chicken farms ready to go. We're going to start getting, uh, you know, ethanol made. We're already making some, see? And so the carbon dioxide is gonna get routed that way to get processed. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna pipe the carbon dioxide around and make it go that way. Um, I might actually just ride it around here and then stick it in, in this area and then have the exhaust, right? I don't know, like it's already carbon dioxide, so I can't mix it with exhaust pipes. This also just needs a place to go. We need a lot of a lot of these farms just need a place to go. Um, and we just aren't processing it fast enough. So it's it's too much corn. I'm giving us another usage for corn so that we can process it faster and so that it can continue to, you know, to jump in here. These are already upgraded belts. I just need to get it going. All right. Get in here. And uh, that's what we're doing. So right there's the mills. They're making uh, the corn mash. 
animal feeds going out and um, the animal feed is going to get routed this way, right? We have to probably have to do that. So why don't we do the animal feed? It goes into there. And then you just go there and there and you're going to go up and then over and then you're going like that. Okay. And then we just, you know, unity build all of that. There we go. Turn this on too for construction. Select the recipe. Select the recipe. I guess I didn't do that in that one. Weird. Uh oh, paused. Hi. Unpause. There we go. Okay, I was like, why aren't you making it? So animal feed will go this way, right? And then it feeds into the chickens. So let's see what does it take to handle chickens. Let's buy. Oh my gosh, not enough. Alright, next video. We will buy chickens, all right? We will see how that go how that works. Next video. This video was all about getting ethanol going. And uh, we did that. We just have to route it correctly. We've also now routed successfully the naphtha and brine pipes this direction. So we're ready to start setting up our medical supply production over here with the steel. Um, we are making more than enough steel. It is definitely not a steel problem. So our attention now shifts to glass making. And we'll be doing that probably either next video or the video after that for sure, because that's our that's our uh, our research right now. So glass making two begins after this. Um, we'll tear all this stuff down, redo that all up. Hopefully, I'll have enough red parts to do that. The glass is backed up. Ah! <laughs> it's me. The things I do. It's my thing. I did the thing, guys. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to upgrade another house. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to, why are we, we're, it's all about glass, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, we can deliver that to make that belt go faster. Make this belt go faster. Make that belt right there. Go faster. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Glass is being made now. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. They're finally delivering sand where it needed to go. Over there. Not over here. No idea why. They're not bringing it here anymore. Okay. Sure. I guess we're digging dirt now. Anyway, uh, I'll leave it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We got the ethanol and stuff ready to rock. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a good weekend, too. If I don't see you, maybe, uh, maybe I have enough time for one more video. I hope I do. Um, so if I do, then great. You're seeing it. But if not, I hope you had a great weekend, and we'll see you after the break. Okay? See ya. Bye-bye.